Hello, my first and second grade musical scholars. It's always wonderful to be with you every single week. I'm going to tell you that February is a really special month. There's a lot going on, and especially in the very first week. I'm talking about Black History Month. It's great to learn about all the contributions that uh, African Americans have made. It's so, and we should be talking about it all the time, but we give a special emphasis in February. We also have Groundhog's Day, and we'll be talking about that in a little bit as well. But of course, first we're going to have to sing hello. And because it's Black History Month, I want to sing a song called Jambo. You know, we've been singing hola, which is hello in Spanish. Well, Jambo is hello in the Swahili language. And Swahili is spoken in some parts of Africa. Now with this song, I know some of you know it already if you've had me as a teacher before. And if you haven't, it's really easy because all you have to do is sing whatever I sing. So if I sing Jambo, you sing Jambo. If I sing Jambo Sana, which means hello my good friend, you sing Jambo Sana. And if I sing Jambo Watoto, you sing Jambo Watoto, which means hello children. You'll get it. It's very easy. The very first time, I'll kind of sing softly so you know when you're supposed to sing. And here we go. Jumbo, 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 get the idea now. I'm not going to do that double singing, so listen to me the first time. Jumbo. Jumbo! So there's our hello song, and we'll be doing that for the month of February. All right, well, time to put my guitar down because it is devotion time. And we, in our Rise Up curriculum, we're talking about service and especially about leadership this week. And how can we be a good leader? Well, first, we have to be a good follower. Hmm. And let's find out how that works. Our devotion is called, Wherever He Leads, I'll Go. So let's just listen. Remember, then we'll have a very short scripture verse and a prayer and two songs. Jesus said that to be a good leader, you must learn to follow. You must take up a cross and follow him. What does that mean? Taking up a cross means that we do the things that Jesus did, like helping a friend, obeying your parents, going to church, or praying for a sick neighbor. But you can't take up a cross until you lay down something else. What do we lay down? We lay down selfish things, mean things, and take up the things that God wants. Have you taken up a cross? Are you doing the things that Jesus did? Are you praying? Then you are becoming a leader. Keep following Jesus. And our scripture verse comes from John 
chapter 21, verse 22. It's really short. Listen. You must follow me. Say that. You must follow me. And if we follow Jesus, that's how we become a great leader. So fold your hands for our very short prayer. Lord, I want to be a good leader for Jesus. Teach me to follow him more. Amen. And so with that in mind about being a follower of Jesus so we can be a good leader, here's a song called Wherever He Leads, I'll Go. And I'm going to play it through twice because I've got a few short actions to go along with it. You'll see what I mean. Here we go. Like I said, we're going to do that one more time. Wherever he leads, I'll go. Wherever he leads, I'll go. I'll follow my Christ who loves me so. Wherever he leads, I'll go. That's your part. Here we go. Get your cross ready. great singing. I know it was a new song, but that refrain, wherever he leads, I'll go, was pretty easy to do. Well, I said we have another song, and this one is called, I Have Decided to Follow Jesus. Perhaps some of you know this song already. It's very easy, and it goes like this. to 
follow Jesus, and then no turning back, no turning back. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back. No turning back. All right, now here's another part. Though none go with me, still I will follow. So sometimes our friends don't want to do the right thing, but we're going to follow Jesus instead. Though none go with me, still I will follow. Though none go with me, still I will follow. Though none go with me, still I will follow. Though none go with me, still I will follow. No turning back, no turning back. My cross I'll carry till I see Jesus. My cross I'll carry till I see Jesus. My cross I'll carry till I see The cross before me. The world behind me. The cross before me. The world behind me. The cross before me. Almost imagine your wonderful singing voices. Well, today we're going to talk about some more instruments. If you recall, last week, if you were in our lesson, we were talking about the woodwind instruments, like the flute and the oboe and the piccolo and the clarinet. Oh, we talked about all of them. And this week, we are going to talk about the string instruments, all right? So many, many weeks ago, we did have a lesson where we focused pretty much on the violin, but we did not talk about the rest of the stringed instruments. So I'd like to point them out to you today. And also, I get a chance to let you hear what they sound like, because a lot of times, you know, you see a picture of an instrument and you go, but what does it really sound like? And you get that opportunity today. So I'm just going to cue up my music here so it is all ready when I start talking about our first instrument, which is going to be the violin. It's going to be the violin. So I'm going to actually go to this page right here where you're going to see all of our stringed instruments. And I'm going to be pointing to them. So if we start right here, we have the violin. It is the smallest of the stringed instruments. And as you can see by looking at these instruments, they are all made out of wood. There are some parts on it that are metal, but for the mo most of it is made out of wood. Now, in order to play the violin, you put it under your chin and you need a bow. And you can see this boy has a bow here that, that he uses, or you can also pluck the violin with your fingers. So I'm going to play so you can hear, and I know we heard this many weeks ago, but I'd like to play it again for you. Very short, just so you can hear what the violin sounds like. Now, 
the next larger instrument is going to be the viola. And it's spelled V-I-O-L-A, which it looks like it should be pronounced viola, but they do pronounce it viola. It is a little bit larger than the violin. This girl is playing the viola. And because it's just a little bit larger, the sound is going to be a little bit lower. Remember when we talked about the woodwind instruments, the smaller the instrument, the higher the sound, the larger the instrument, the lower the sound. So the viola played the same way underneath the chin. You can either use your fingers to pluck the strings or you can use a bow to play it. So here's the viola. One of my friends, her name is Mary, she plays the viola at our church every single week. And I, there is somebody else who comes occasionally, and her name is Michaela, and she plays violin at our church. So always wonderful to hear those stringed instruments. Now the next instrument I'm going to talk about is even bigger. And because it is so much bigger, you have to sit on a chair in order to play it. You will notice that there is a floor peg here. So it rests on the floor peg. You can still use a bow to play it. You can still use your finger to pluck the strings, but it's larger. So we're going to have even a lower sound. And there is somebody at our church who also plays cello and it's spelled C-E-L-L-O. So you would think, oh, is it cello? No, it's got the C-H sound, cello. So this is the cello and let's listen to what it sounds like, even a little bit lower. That is the cello. And that brings us to another stringed instrument, and you can see it is very large. It is called a string bass, or you might call it a double bass, or a bass violin. It goes by all those names. You can see it is so large that you either have to sit on a stool, a higher stool, or you would be standing to play it. And again, your fingers are pressing down on the strings like all the rest of these instruments. That changes the sound. You use a bow to play it, which, and you could also use your fingers to pluck it. It is the lowest sounding instrument. Let's listen to the bass violin. Wow, that is a very low sound. So this is just an introduction to what these four stringed instruments are. There are some other stringed instruments that aren't normally found in an orchestra that we'll talk about in another week, but this is what we would find in an orchestra. The violin, the viola, the cello, and the bass violin, right there. And remember when I talked about the word bass last week, talking about our woodwinds, that if we have that, that word bass in front of an instrument by itself, when it's referring to music, it means down low. Bass violin, it's going to be much lower than the violin. All right, well, there's our stringed instruments. Now, let's talk about something else right now. It's going to be the beginning of February in just a few days from when I am recording this. It's Black History Month, which is always an exciting month when we get to... Here's my dog, Lassie. She, she's actually looking at a bunny out the window. So she gets pretty, pretty uh, feisty when she sees a bunny, but I think she scared it away. So maybe she'll be quiet right now. So we're going to be doing a couple of songs right now that uh, you just heard before, Jambo. And remember, Jambo means hello in the Swahili language. Well, now we're going to um, 
sing a song that comes from the country of Liberia, and Liberia is in Africa. And some of you might remember this song. I do this one every year. I really like it. It's called Funga Alafia. And Ashe Ashe, which means welcome. Welcome, everybody, to my home. Welcome to my village. I'm so glad you are here. So here's how the song Funga Alafia goes. <laughs> Now the next part of the song goes like this. With my eyes, I welcome you. With my words, I welcome you. With my heart, I welcome you. See, I have nothing up my sleeve. When we say that, it means I'm not going to hide anything from you. Only the truth is coming from my heart. I will not lie. You will only get the truth. So let's just try that part again and say it with me. With my eyes, I welcome you. With my words, I welcome you. With my heart, I welcome you. See, I have nothing up my sleeve. So let's sing the whole song right now. With my eyes, I welcome you. With my words, I welcome you. With my heart, I welcome you. See, I have nothing up my sleeve. And let's sing. pretty good. Now, next, what we're going to do is we are going to sing what's called an African-American spiritual. Uh, African-American spirituals, they are religious folk songs. So if it's religious, it has something to do with God or Jesus or heaven or stories from the Bible, maybe about Moses, maybe about Daniel. So stories from the Bible, something to do that's with religious ideas. So this song is called, I'm So Glad Jesus Lifted Me. Now with the spiritual, they're all very easy to sing, very repetitious. They repeat a lot and the words are, are easy to sing. So listen to how this song goes. Very easy. I'm so glad Jesus lifted me. Hallelujah, Jesus lifted me. So try and sing it with me right now. So easy. I'm so glad Jesus lifted me. I'm so glad Jesus lifted me. I'm so glad Jesus lifted me. Singing glory, hallelujah. Jesus lifted me. All right, now the words are going to change just a little bit. When I was in trouble, Jesus lifted me. 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 Singing glory, hallelujah, Jesus lifted me. All right, let's sing it again.
I do. All right. So we'll be doing some more spirituals all month long. They're easy to sing, and they've got such a great meaning. Think about it. I'm so glad Jesus lifted me. I mean, it's just a prayer that we can we can say. Sing, sing those words in your mind, singing glory, hallelujah, Jesus lifted me. All right, it is time to switch gears a little bit because guess what? I told you at the beginning of music that this is a special month. There's a lot going on. And let's go right now to Punxsutawney Phil. Who's my Punxsutawney Phil? He is a groundhog. He has a special day, February 2nd. It's coming up. And uh, maybe some of you know my friend, Mrs. Weber, who's the principal at Northwest Lutheran School. This is one of our very, very favorite holidays. And oh, we celebrate it every year. It's a lot of fun. My son went to Punxsutawney, Pennsylvania and brought Mr. Phil back for me. So I'm glad I have him. So I've got a couple of songs for you. The first one is very short and it's got a familiar melody. We always talk about that and you're gonna probably recognize the melody. It's, I'm a little teapot. It's a very simple melody. And my song goes like this. Here's a little groundhog, furry and brown. He's popping up to look around. If he sees a shadow down, he'll go. Then six more weeks of winter. Oh no! That's right, if he sees his shadow, if it's a sunny day, back he goes and we've got six more weeks of winter. So I, what do you want, more winter or more spring? I know there's going to be differing opinions, that's okay. So I'll just sing it one more time. Feel free just to listen along, try to sing it along with me. Here's a little groundhog, furry and brown. He's popping up to look around. If he sees a shadow down, he'll go. Then six more weeks of winter. Oh, no. Well, now it's time for one more song that you are going to get a chance to see the words for. And it's called Wacky Groundhog. And it's just, just a fun song for you to look at. And you are welcome to sing along if you, as you're looking at those words. Or just listening is fine too, but you've had to learn a lot today and here's a song where we can just sit back and relax for a little bit. So here it is, Wacky Groundhog. And the words will be up for you. I'm cueing the music right now.
hope you enjoyed that fun song, The Wacky Groundhog, and you celebrate a little bit on February 2nd. So we are out of time, my friends. It is time to sing goodbye. So let's sing Adios Amigos. Here we go. Adios Amigos. Adios, my friends. Hasta la vista. I'll see you again. La 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 Ole! Well, thank you for another wonderful music time together. So remember to stay safe, stay healthy, and God bless all of you until we meet again. Goodbye.